Hello everyone, this is Etho. Today is a great day in Minecraft because the beta 1.7 patch came out. Why is that creeper over there? What the? Okay, well this episode, <coughs> we're going to play on Peaceful. Yeah, the beta 1.7 patch came out, so I've been playing around with it already. Got sticky pistons, pistons. I'll show you how to make them. Even though you probably already know. Uh, what you need is some iron, cobblestone, redstone, and some planks. And that makes a piston. It's a little bit different than the the mod. The crafting recipe is different from the mods crafting recipe. Uh, uh, once you have a piston, you can use slime balls to make a sticky piston. That's all the slime balls I have. So I can only have 24 right now. So I'm going to need to make some kind of slime farm eventually, kind of like DotGem's been doing, and many other Minecrafters. Uh, one other thing, we also have shears now. And I'll get to that in a little bit as well. So, I'm very happy with this update. I've been playing around with it quite a bit. Um, maybe we'll take care of the little stuff first, get it out of the way. Uh, one thing that's changed, of course. By the way, if you guys want a full, nice and concise uh, update about the update. Information about the update, that's what I should say. Uh, check out Static's video, I'll link it in the description. But here's my own unprofessional version. Uh, one thing that's changed, you can stack you can stack fences on top of fences now. Uh, before you weren't able to do that. You can also put stuff on top, torches, uh, can't put levers. Can you do redstone torches? Yep. Uh, what else can we try? I guess that's it. So that's different. Uh, another thing that's changed. I'm gonna stick that back. Uh, TNT has changed in the new update, the 1.7. You can no longer detonate it using your fists like you used to be able to. You have to use redstone or fire to set it off. And you can pick it up again after you after you hit it. So it's kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. If you ever misplace TNT, it's really easy to pick it up now. Where are the sheep? There is the sheep. So with the shears, you right click on the sheep to harvest their wool. Wow, if you get four wool. So I guess uh, you get more than you did before. If a sheep dies with its wool still on it, he will give you one wool. So if you drown them, or if they burn, or fall to death, or something like that, then you'll get one wool from them. Just like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one other really neat thing about the shears that I am really happy with uh, let's head out side here. You can use them to harvest leaves from trees so that you can actually place leaf blocks, which is really neat. Let's uh, let's go look for some buggy trees here. Um, there's a good one. So left click drops leaf blocks like that. You can pick them up. And then 
replace them. You have to place them next to a wood block, otherwise they will disappear. So they follow the same rules as uh, leaves normally do. Uh, so one neat thing is you can cut through them really quick with the shears as well. There's actually three different types of leaf blocks. You got your regular kind from regular trees. Uh, this color here is from the birch trees, I believe. And then this bluish is from the evergreen type trees in snowy regions. And to pick this stuff up, you need a separate inventory for all three kinds. Although I can't pick this one up for some reason, so maybe there's four kinds. Huh, very strange. Anyway, so I really like that new feature. Um, I was playing around with the pistons a bit already. May as well show you some things I tried. Uh, one thing, I was seeing if you could use them to harvest reeds without destroying the plant. You can, so that's really cool. So that's probably how I'm going to do my reed farm whenever I get around to doing that. If you do it from above, it kind of knocks the reed block onto the soil block below. So you kind of need to do it from a side like this, and it pushes it aside. That's one neat thing. I was also playing around with light switches. Uh, they do work for making light switches. So I got a little switch here. It's completely dark. And it, I got a sticky piston, which just pulls a block back. So that's cool. Definitely some uh, uses for that. Um... Alright, I'm going to collect my thoughts a bit. Oh, actually, you know what I wanted to do? Let's fix this guy. So now that we can place leaf blocks, it's very easy to do stuff with leaves. You don't have to grow trees to make the leaves take the shape you want. You just put them wherever you want. Yeah, I'm going to collect my thoughts, and then we'll... Uh, we gotta look at pistons yet, and maybe a few other things. Alright, maybe we'll do a sheep test. Uh, I know if you kill them, and they still have their wool, they will always drop one every time. Uh, I want to see how much, on average, you get shearing them. Four. 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 So I'm guessing it's four every time. Oh. That guy dropped two. Four. Was that four or was that five? Yeah, that was three. You get quite a bit. More than uh, punching them before. A lot more. Three. Three. So it seems to be between two and four. Although I've gotten four a lot more often. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go over to my ex. Experiment Island. Uh, one other thing that's changed too, I noticed this right away, the cobblestone texture is different. It's a, it's a lot, uh, there's a lot less contrast to it, so it looks softer. I think I like it more, uh, but I know some people were complaining about it. It'll kind of uh, 
blend in a little bit better to the other blocks. It'll match other blocks a little bit better. Alright, let's go to the test area. Alright, let's have some fun with pistons, shall we? Uh, that's what the pistons look like. Uh, I don't like them as much as the way the mod looks. The mod ones look. They look like iron blocks. These ones kind of look like dispensers, which I've never really been fond of the texture for dispensers, but that's just the way it is. And don't send me a texture pack, because I won't use it. Uh, but anyway, point of pistons, they move blocks, I'm sure you know that, once you send power to them. Uh, so the normal pistons move them, the sticky pistons retract the block with them as well. So this is the difference. Normal piston over here, sticky one here, looks the same, right? Well, when they retract, this is the difference. Normal one, the block stays, sticky one, the block comes with it again. Uh, to harvest them, you can just punch them. They're really easy to harvest. And you can place pistons six directions. Uh, you can put them straight down like that. Every, every which way, and they're. Li I find they're a little bit hard to place, but they probably just require a little practice. And directly down like that. Um, powering them is much like powering dispensers. Um, oh yeah, another new change with the 1.7 is with the repeaters. Now you don't need to run the redstone an extra block like before you would have to do that for it to work, but now you can just have the redstone wire adjacent to the repeater, which is very nice. It should save space on wiring stuff. Okay, let's have a little bit fun with pistons, shall we? Um, something people were wondering, they don't launch you, they just move you up one block. Uh, they do not launch sand. They just move it up one block and drop it. Uh, pistons to move up to 12 blocks. So if I could have a stack of 12 sand and it should move it. No problem. Uh, one really neat thing about pistons is they can move items upward like these item blocks. This is the first thing in Minecraft that can do it. So now there's finally a possible way to transfer items from below up to your base or whatever. So that's neat. I might try to make a, a nice design with that. And I'm sure many other people have already. Um, hmm. One thing I was playing around with the sticky ones, I was doing this and having repeaters every second block. Do that, set this one to one, this one to two, three, and four. Now when you apply power, Does that. Uh, pistons can move other pistons if they are not um, I don't know what you would call it, extracted or if they're like that. They won't move if they're like that. So if I apply power can't move it. If it's like that then it can move it. 
So that's kind of neat. Uh, but these won't retract each other. You need to... They can only move one block at a time. So when this one goes back, it's not going to pull both of them. It's only going to pull one. I don't know. They're pretty fun. Pistons are going to be very useful for many things. Uh, I also played around using them as the water gates. They do work. Here's a crude example. So when it's extended like that, the water won't flow. If it's back, it will. And you can use that for lava and stuff too. Um, hmm. So, on their own, the arms or the plates of the piston boxes, they won't uh, crush animals or mobs. They won't crush players. Uh, but if you push a block and make a cow sandwich or a mob sandwich, that does work. So, let's see it in action. Our cow is very comfortably in a one by two high area. If you push in the bottom one. Cow's still fine. A little tight in there though. Um, today's episode does contain animal cruelty, so parental guidance is advised. So, and you can kill mobs with pistons if you crush them between blocks. So, it's kind of neat. So, when I was playing around with pistons today, I came across something very cool. This is going to be very fundamental to a lot of things I do, I'm sure. Uh, what you do is you dig one hole, uh, get your get your piston above like that, place a redstone wire below and a lever next to it. Turn it on and guess what you have here? This is a block sensor piston. So as soon as you place a block in front of it, it pushes it, which is very neat. Um, let's see, if you use a sticky piston, something kind of strange happens. Just like a real piston. You can flip it off and on. So this is a really neat sensor. Very compact. Um, here's something I was playing around with. I made a loop of them. That's a sticky one. So you can chain many of these together and you can make self-building structures that way of, of whatever proportion you want without needing any majorly complicated redstone wiring. Uh, so let's flip this on. There's just four of them going around in a very tiny loop. But you can make the loop as big as you want, really. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I'll set up another example. All right, here's another example. I just set up three of the auto sensor piston things. Um, so this is what happens. Oh, I don't think that one's on. If it can't move it, it'll destroy the lever. So, gotta keep that in mind. But pretty cool, you can make uh, self-building structures doing that and mixing it with cobblestone generators or stuff like that, I'm sure. Haven't had much time to play around with this day, but I'm pretty sure you can do some cool stuff with pistons. Uh, maybe I'll make a sand tower. Oh wait, no, that won't work like that. Uh, you have to do a less fancy way. Uh, set up a repeater. Um, your piston. Like that. Uh, block there. And redstone wire. Like that. This is kind of a another way of doing a sensor. It's a little bit more takes up more space and more resources. But there's no hole underneath. Uh so I'm gonna shut this off. We'll make a big sand tower. Then when you flip it on, fun stuff, having a lot of fun with pistons. Alright, and the last thing I was playing around with today was this. This is kind of like uh, an auto harvesting tree farm idea I had. So if you have a block here, it moves all five of those pistons. This is the sensor. It's running on a loop to update when a tree grows. Um, and there's this wire running up to all five pistons. So when the tree grows, guess what happens? Automatically moves all the logs. I'm stuck here. Let's grow a few trees. So the, the loop, the clock here uh, updates when the tree grows, otherwise uh, it won't detect that the tree has grown. You need the, uh, excuse me, you need an adjacent block to update for this sensor to detect the tree has grown. Oops. This is kind of just a little fun idea. I might try make a tree farm doing something similar to this, maybe a little bit more fancy though. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with pistons. Those are our trees. And then you would just go harvest them real easily because they're all in a line. But anyway, that's all I figured out with pistons so far. They're a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I do kind of plan on making a new base. I don't know if I'm going to do it right away, but sometime soon, and I'll probably
start using uh, pistons for a lot of things in the new base, like new tree farms, reed farms, stuff like that, maybe mob systems. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I hope these, uh, I hope this video was useful for you, and I will see you again next time.